What is the vision of our church? Yes, we are a refuge, but what does that really mean? Will we be known as refuge just by name? Or will our actions be evidence of people who have hope to share? How will we love? Who will we inspire? Who will be our inspiration? The answer has not changed since humanity's inception. We find it in the places we know comfort is near and truth is discovered. It is our responsibility to provide a home for the castaway, the addict, the lonely, the abused. That is our call, and this is how we live it out. All throughout high school, um, I grew up in religion. I went to a Lutheran church, and I started drinking alcohol when I was 16. Um, by the time I was 23, I was what they call an alcoholic. Um, I couldn't just go out and have fun and have a couple drinks and go home. I was to the point where I would drink until I blacked out and had no um, memory of whatever happened um, the night before. We were um, in, uh, we were separated and we were months away from having our divorce finalized. For many years I struggled with addiction and that addiction also led to a lot of crime. Um, it started a few years ago when I went to the doctor and found out that I would most likely not be able to have a child on my own. So I was told that if I wanted to have a child, it would be through lots and lots of doctor's appointments and um, medication, and with that, I might possibly be able to have my own child. Our value system was really, really caught up in, you know, how you know the collections that the office could make, the the volume that we we're seeing, the things that we we're doing as an office was how we were, we were judging our success, and so we would just push and push and push and drive and drive and. My mom and I, it was just us because she was a single mom and we were moving around a lot basically because of jobs and other things and it got to the point where we couldn't take care of ourselves on our own anymore and so we had to either, it was basically we didn't have a choice, we had to go on the streets. You know, due to choices I made, I ended up with a um, being jobless, being, you know, having no money, and having two children to, to feed and clothe and take care of. Ended up sliding down a, uh, into a place where, where I was depressed. Um, I just really felt like, like a nobody, like I was constantly living in failure. Every day, I would have to ask God to help me this job because um, I wanted to do it but I didn't think I'd be able to there's no way there's too much you know but um, he gave me courage you know he spoke to me and God literally changed my heart and so from that moment forward I, I really dedicated my life to Christ and knowing his word and, 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 and learning about it and I remember um, I came to a point where I just got down on my knees and I just cried out to God I just said God if you're there just come and help me, come and save me from my hurt and from my pain. Um, I just, I don't know what to do anymore and I don't know where to turn. Um, and that's where I, you know, came to um, that Sunday service and that's um, where he's brought me today. Something changed on the inside of me. And at that point, God started working on my heart. And, and at that moment, I knew that God actually loved me. God had his hand on us the whole time and he opened up a house basically. You know, there were days when I didn't know where our next meal was coming from. I didn't know when the electric bill was going to get paid. I didn't know when the rent was going to get paid. And we never went hungry. We always had clothes. We, we always had what we needed. Um, not exactly when I thought we needed it, but, but we always had something. But now she is almost seven months old and she's a happy, healthy little girl. I couldn't rely on my own abilities to make a way. I used to have depression, anxiety, bipolar, and I used to be an alcoholic. I used to put me first in my marriage. My mom and I were almost homeless. I reached a point in my life when I didn't think I was going to make it. I'm a former pastor who dealt with discouragement and depression. I struggled with addiction and crime for a long time. We were on the brink of a divorce. The enemy tried to steal life. And then I found a refuge. And then I found a refuge. And then I found a refuge. 
And then we found a refuge. And then I found a refuge. But then we found a refuge. But I found a refuge. But then I found a refuge. But we found a refuge. These are our stories. And because of our refuge in God, we have found hope. Now it's time for us to be a refuge so that others can discover who Jesus really is.